Well, Rhode Island's um, round one of the U.S. Senior Open kicked off today, and it got a gorgeous setting at the historic Newport Country Club. But for the volunteers, the work started months ago, as NBC 10's John Perrick tells us live tonight. John? Jane, volunteers are the unsung heroes of the 44th U.S. Senior Open. Today was round one, and over 1,100 volunteers coming out today to do their part. They are the backbone of the 44th U.S. Senior Open. It's good for your heart and your soul. Walk around the course and you'll learn each volunteer has a story to tell. It's great fun. Uh, great to meet different people and various uh, volunteers and you get close up to the players. Roger Malarkey came all the way from Ireland for this tournament. For him, it's a way to make lasting friendships. I come back from other events and I now have friends in Newport that I never had before. And it's a great way to meet people. Across the course, you'll find over 1,100 volunteers from 34 different states and four different countries, but many are from right here in the Ocean State. Well, I think it's a big deal. I mean, I think this golf course is really historic, so I think the players are super excited to come to it. It's a, always a fun experience for me. Sean Marcellus works as the head grounds crew keeper at the Wanamatonomy Golf and Country Club in Middletown. But this week, he's been waking up at 3 a.m. to cut the holes on the front nine here at the tournament in Newport. It's a great honor to, to be able to, uh, to change the pins here at a historic golf course and for the uh, Senior Open. These extra hands and the work that they do, it's, it's what makes our championships possible. Colleen Fink is the volunteer championship coordinator. You know, we truly couldn't run our championships without them. Over a thousand men and women lining the fairways or helping out in the merchandise tent, doing their part, all for the good of the game. Do you make friends for life in, at these sort of events? And there's also plenty of youth volunteers out here as well. Many of the standard bearers on the course today coming from the local Newport Boys and Girls Club.